using the 4B pencil because I don't want anything to be as dark as the, the cast shadow. And we are going to shade in the core shadow. The core shadow will be on the right half of the sphere and it's going to be in the shape of a dark kind of crescent moon shape. So it will be about three quarters of the way over from where the sun is hitting. And also I'm just going to draw really, really lightly with the HB pencil, pencil. I'm going to indicate a little bit inside the line. This little with the oval, this is going to be the general area where we're going to leave our highlight. That's the shine that is going to be on this sphere. So right now, all I'm really concerned with is very, very um, lightly just throwing down some dark value. And we can layer it, doing like a little cross-hatching technique, just just to get some value down on there. And so it looks like a little dark crescent moon. I don't mind putting a little bit of the 6B in there, so let's just kind of punch up the dark areas a little bit with a little 6B. Okay, everything to the right of this core shadow is going to be considered like the dark side of the sphere. So after the core shadow or the shadow edge, that's the name of this dark area right here, the darkest area of shading actually on the, the sphere, you're going to have your dark midtones right here. So you might want to use that 4B pencil and not switch and just press more lightly. Just use less pressure and just fill in this back part of the sphere like this. Don't worry about getting smudgy. You know, if it really, really gets all over your hand you're, and you're bothered that, by that, a little trick is you could put a clean piece of paper towel, another piece of paper towel, underneath your hand like this. There's a little trip, uh, trick or a tip. Okay. Now, as we go to the left of the core shadow and toward the highlighted zone, we're going to switch to a 2B pencil. Okay, uh, that's the next harder, you know, the harder pencil from a 4B. So as you get a harder and harder pencil lead or graphite, because it's not really made of lead, which is a type of soft metal, as you use harder and harder graphite pencils, the mark actually gets uh, to be lighter. So it's like a lighter and lighter gray. So you can use a harder graphite pencil to create your lighter grays. Uh, and remember, the lower the number B pencil, the lighter the value will actually be. B stands for black. If you have a 2H pencil, the H stands for hard. I really do not know who came up with this system, but uh, that's the most commonly used system. And there might be other systems of, of grading, drawing pencils out there, but uh, that's the one I commonly use uh, in my classroom and I think in the United States. So now I'm using a HB pencil. An HB is the equivalent to a number two school pencil or test pencil. So everybody has an HB pencil. You can do this whole drawing with just a number two test pencil if you want. 
but there will be no way that you will get as rich a black color as let's say if you own a 10B pencil or a 12B pencil or even the 6B pencil that I used. So it is kind of limiting. So if you can uh, get it, get the darker pencils for shading too.